Welcome to this video about Maxwell Studio. In this video we will make an introduction to Maxwell Studio and its interface and highlight some of the more important settings. The Maxwell Studio interface is made up of different types of panels such as object parameters panel, cameras panel, render options, etc. The panels can be resized by dragging on their borders. By dragging on their title bar, they can be detached from the UI and dropped in a new location. The rest of the interface smoothly adapts to accommodate it. Tabs of panels can be created by drag and dropping a panel over another. Numeric fields can be adjusted by clicking their up-down arrows or for smoother changes, click and drag the mouse wheel or the middle mouse button on the arrows. Several viewports can be added to the interface. A panel can contain several sections, which can be collapsed or expanded by clicking on their name. The Output tab in Render Options adjusts the bit depth drop-down depending on the chosen output format. Drag and drop the folder icon to copy the output settings. Pressing the V key on your keyboard will maximize the viewport for easier object manipulation. Materials can be quickly added to your screen by dragging and dropping from the Material Browser. You can also save your custom layout and use it as your default workspace. Once you have created the layout you want, you can save it from Window, Save, Layout. Save the layout in the Layouts folder of your Maxwell Render installation folder. Restart Studio and your new layout will appear in the Layout drop-down list. Import a simple object using the library of objects built in inside Studio, accessible from the File menu.
you can change the display mode in the display mode drop down. This icon allows you to access the preferences panel. If you do not specify any output paths in render options, you can choose whether Studio should save the output in the project folder, which is the location of the MXS file, or in a temporary directory. Switching the selection display mode from wire to brackets can be useful when working with textures on objects with a high polygon count. Brackets will allow you to see your textures more clearly. The viewport grid can be very useful to check the size of your objects in the scene. Use Absolute Grid will create a fixed sized grid based on your settings. The Texture Rest setting determines the resolution of the textures displayed in the OpenGL viewport. You should set it at the highest possible setting to display the textures accurately in the viewport. Studio needs to be restarted for this setting to take effect. There are several interesting preferences related to importing geometry. You can also set your shortcuts. Several texture paths can be set where Studio will look for textures used in materials. Make sure you enter your MXM Gallery login information to be able to access it directly from Studio. You can choose the way to display instances and how to shade them. Default options can be set for the Material Editor Preview. This was just a quick tour. For more information about the Studio Preferences, please consult the Maxwell Vendor Manual.